Greetings, one and all. Chris Courtney here. New pragmatic. It's time for the feedback loop. Hope you're doing well where you are. Um, we've got we got a light load this morning. That's really good because I actually have to like bounce out of here and into a meeting uh, pretty quick. So we're gonna make this pretty fast today. And yeah, sometimes uh, yeah, sometimes Figma does this, and I'm I'm never quite honestly sure why Figma doesn't just pop me over into the app um that's probably a question i should ask figma um but i'm not going to right now i'm going to um i'm going to come up here and we're going to talk about eve's uh healthy eats progress because when we when we last spoke to eve and i've turned off the guides by the way that's control uh g yeah control g that turns off all the guides all at once eve kept seeing me turn them turn the, the grids off manually and she uh, she had to scold me and I appreciate that I do but when we last looked at this Eve was over here and as you can see this prototype is very robust so she's got her home page she's got a plans page she's got an on the menu a sign up um, a menu selection screen uh, we, we still need to see more about this menu selection screen but she's really focused right now on cart checkout and confirmation and as she notes here, new pages, new pages. Uh, let's hide the, the tools here for a second. So we've got new pages for, this is the checkout. And this is basically like where we enter in our payment information. Um, she has some delivery details here. Um, and Eve, one, one thing I was wondering about, uh, we have this review plan meals delivery piece here um i want to make sure that we've okay yeah okay never mind this has been entered so this is you know when you're in your cart you're you're um i, I i'm wondering about the language here um because you know welcome plan meals you've selected your meals now you're in your cart um proceed to checkout I feel like I'm in the checkout it's almost like continue with checkout but you know I get it I, I think I think it still works um, but I did want to I kind of I kind of had forgotten where we were like you had you had this screen where delivery was happening and when, when you're looking at things piecemeal and you're kind of parachuting back in um, it's easy to forget that so um, delivery details I almost I almost want to have like some sort of edit like oh that's not what I want it so because you're kind of reviewing this um, I I sense that I should be able to go back to cart like I should be able to click this and it'll take me back to cart but maybe if the, if we had some sort of like edit you know if I want to edit those details it should take me back to that screen and then I could continue and that would bring you back here but that's just one thing I, I was looking for here is like, okay, well, how would I, if I said, oh, wait, that's, that's not the right address or that's not the right contact, how would I change that? Um, here you've got your card details. So la la first name, last name, card number, expiration date, CC CVC. Um, that all works for me. Billing address, so this is what we do if we say, oh, it's the same as the delivery address. This is what we do if we say, well, I'm guessing it actually opens in this form. So, um, this this if I say same as delivery address, it just it just makes this form go away. So I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that it opens here, and then if I click that, then it becomes this. Um, but I would still like to have the ability to to you know some trigger to go. Oh, you want to edit that? So from here, I've got my. I've got all my details shown and I can place my order. And then one thing I, I do like is um, I think you, you're making a smart usage of the screen here. Like this is this is information that's locked in. Um, I struggle with it a bit because it's different from my plan and my meals, but I can also see where like three yellow boxes would be in it, like th three outlines would be an issue um, so there's that um, it's one of those things like 
checkout pages are hard. That, that, like that's the that's the big takeaway here. Checkout pages are hard. There's a lot of various pieces of information, and they're just they're just difficult. That's the solar is to it. Now on this side, on this side, it, it's it's kind of interesting. Like your confirmation page feels like the review page. Like here's your payment details, here's your delivery details, here's your plan, here's your meals, submit order. Like this feels like the final, like this feels like the final view before I submit the order. Um, like the confirmation piece here, clearly that works and I like the little, little illustration here, that's nice. Um, but the fact that I didn't see that in its entirety as the final, here's your final details, you know, last chance to make any changes. Um, that's the only, that's the only thing giving me pause. It's like you're, you've got this final view of like your payment, your delivery, your plan, your meals, and it, you're seeing it on the confirmation page. Um, I think it's fine, but I, and I'm glad I'm seeing it on the confirmation page. I am glad I'm, I'm seeing it here. Um, but it, it's it. My, my my question is is it it should this should this can can um, should this combination of information be presented back to me before I place uh, before I place the order and. Because typically, like when we, typically that's that's a step. Like you, you enter your details, and keep in mind, you could have multiple screens that are part of this checkout phase, if you will. Um, so I think this is instead of place order, it feels like it's review order because I can't. It's like enter payment info and review order. Okay, so I've entered my info. And I'm not really getting to that review order stage, okay? Um, so I think this should be add payment info, add payment info, and then this should be review order, and then you get to a screen that has all of this stuff on it, minus the confirmation, and it says place order, like you, you have Here's what your order. Here's what you've you've got. Here's what you're ordering. Place order, and then you come back with a confirmation. Um, that basically looks like this. Um, I think that's I think that's really the the tweak that I would consider making. I, I don't feel like we I don't feel like we're, we ever give them an opportunity to review what they've entered in full. It feels like we're reviewing part of what they've entered, but we're relying on. Hey, yeah, uh, this is this is your billing info. This is your card info, and we're just gonna go with that. And um, it does seem it does seem like we should have that full review page, but it's you know it's a minor tweak. To be completely honest with you, it's not not a huge deal. Um, if you decided to go with it as is, I'm sure I can find I'm sure I can find examples where it basically kind of skips over this right but I can all I can also find ample examples where we have a full review page and then we place the order so something to consider overall though I think that it's um, it's holding together very well um, I, I do believe that this has a very consistent feel you've you've clearly developed a, a, a style that permeates throughout which is good and um, and yeah I'm excited to I'm excited to see you finalize these components and get it into prototype form I think you're right there at the cusp um, you know today is what the 24th yeah you could be you could be testing with this by the end of the week if you if you really wanted to if you really kind of push through uh, early next week at the latest yeah so um, yeah I'm gonna check couchbot oh actually couchbot is fine Kara, yes, no problem. I appreciate it. Um, 
Matthews checking back in on daily stand-up. Um, care for all my students. I do, I do. Um, you know, that's one of the reasons why this this program is so is meant to be flexible. It's month to month. Um, you know, things come up, and you know, you might have to dip out for a few weeks and come back in. You should be penalized. You should not be penalized for that. Um, that's you know one of the big big way, big ways and advantages I try to make things work for you. All right, um, that's where we're gonna wrap it up though. Um, I think that uh, I think Eve, you're on a you're on a good track. I, I just want to see want to see that that idea of review looked at and um, otherwise that's it for us very short feedback loop today uh, but that's okay because I've got a meeting coming up right around the bend so um, for New Pragmatic I'm Chris Cordy this has been the feedback loop and I will chat with all of you again tomorrow take care